without question a true rascal. He'll say anything just to ruffle your feathers, which I think is wonderfully courageous, because for so long we, as a society, labored under the false impression that being polite and respectful was a good thing. But boy, did he prove us wrong. <laughs> oh my God, I'm scared at what he's going to do to me or say or even think. Please welcome the wonderful Bill Mayer. Thank oh, you. this is exciting. Thank you. It's pronounced Mar. Do you know that? Bill, Bill, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. For years now. And you're on this show politically incorrect, which yes. I've never seen. You, 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 you seem to, you seem to, you, you seem to. <laughs> you look great, by the way. Have you lost weight? Do you know what? I, I'll tell you something. Because I think you found it again. I'm just <laughs> This is the evil comic mind of Bill Mar. Say, Mar. The United States doesn't have a royal family. Do you wish they had a royal family? Uh, what a silly question, but yeah, I think it might be a good idea because the royal family takes a lot of the heat that our first family has to. Where in our, our government, excuse me, <laughs> if the president, for example, has oral sex in the Oval Office. No, when, who? <laughs> the president. The, uh, the, uh, the past president. Oh, Bill Clinton. I was going to say, because George W., I can't imagine that would happen. No. No, when you do that much coke, you can't get in there. Right oh, my goodness. But this is the new comedy. This is what's wild about this boy. He'll say things that are absolutely wonderful. As long as we're on the subject, I've always been curious watching you because of the way you are, what drugs you may have done in the past that are still affecting you now. For a while, I smoked catnip, which was, was, which was very popular at the University of Wisconsin. But, you know, that was the era. That was the late 60s. And everyone is experimental. But I think drugs are wrong. I think they're bad. Belmar, do you think drugs are bad? No. You don't? No, I don't. You think they're good? It depends. Drugs are like fire or cars. They can cause harm and they can be good. This whole country takes drugs every day. Everyone here is on some drug. They're either on caffeine or Prozac or vodka. Are you high now? Because <laughs> you seem high. And, I, and you look deluded and you I, polished off about 17 donuts backstage. I, I, <laughs> so I'm I was assuming. before I got out here, but let me tell you, you're a buzzkill. But uh, <laughs> I can't afford. That's more of the Bill Maher zinger. And it's, it's like... Just your bra. No. This is oh, okay. just pet. Just Pex working, trying to help, doing me. Pilates every every chance I can get. Pex, those are yeah, Pex. but you were, an, <laughs> you were in a what? You were a wonderful. Could you not spit right on me? Oh, um, what did you see, like Bill Maher? Oh, that was uh, a. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want me to do the whole? Do you need a full Heimlich? That's later. Okay. Um, what was DC? What was Mr. G like? It was an acting clinic. It was. It, for me, I never went to a formal acting school. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I consider the time I spent on DC Cab to be an acting school. You share a birthday with Melissa Rivers. Is her birthday January 20th? Yes! <laughs> yes! And I'll tell you... Well, then we do. You know who else shares my birthday? Who? Howard Hughes? No. <laughs> Are you serious, Bill? Yes. Do you know who also? It's Rudy. Rudy from the first Survivors, the old man. Yeah. And, and, and he shared... I like Rudy. He's a man. He's a, he's a veteran. He's a veteran. And that means someone who has been to... War. War. <laughs> do you think, Bill... Do you think, Bill, that most people are politically incorrect? No, I think uh, most people nowadays are politically correct. And uh, our show tries to expose the facade. And? Facade. Do you... Outer you, surface. Outer surface. Just say expose outer, the facade. expose the outer surface. Your little lungs are too small to hotbox with God. What does that mean? It's rap. Oh, I love rap. I do love rap. Because no, it, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Mary Lou Henner and Tony Danza. Do you think anything really happened on Taxi, or do you think they were just good friends? Mary Lou was very upfront in her book about the fact that when she was in her heyday in Hollywood, she enjoyed the company of a great number of men, and she enjoys sex. 
Do you think that's something that, that, that women shouldn't say? That there just should be a male thing to say? Or do you believe in the equality of the sexes, Bill Maher? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the complete equality of the sexes. I think it is liberating for a woman to be able to embrace her sexuality. If you really believed in your attributes as an equal human being, then you would give your sexuality away instead of holding it back as some sort of prize that you had to wait for. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but my lady and I have been together for 23 wonderful years. We have a very active sexual life, sometimes four or five, you know... Times a year? Pops a week. That's great. I always thought there was a whole front and that you were gay, but that's you know, just what I've heard. Now, why isn't that interesting coming from a 44-year-old bachelor? <laughs> Yeah. No, no. You are the best, and this has been fun, and I want you to come back every other day if it's possible. What am I, a fly? Yeah. We'll be back after this. Coming up next, Jiminy talks to Steve Martin. <laughs> I love the bubble minutes. Has this been a fun evening for a Bill Maher? Uh, yeah, up until now. Is it because you're self-conscious being in a steam room with a dude? Well, that and your buddies over there. Oh, you mean um, Ben and, and Mrs. Ben? Actually, she's kind of fun, but she can be mean and rude. Actually, her I like. Hey, how you doing, honey? Well, anyway, that's our show, and for those of you who insist on drinking and driving, do me a favor and gun it, so you'll be off the freeway before I get there. Good night, and God bless you. So, Bill, you, what do you do? You go home and you just, what do you, what, how does, how does a Bill Maher end an evening? My ass is sticking to the sea. Well, that's a good thing. That's why we like it in here. It's when it doesn't stick that you want to sue someone. <laughs>